Hey, what up guys? And in this one, I'm heading out to a course called Bayonet, which is one of two courses that I go to to kind of really just test my game and see how I'm doing. Uh, the other course is the sister course, which is called Black Horse. And as you know, I got my butt kicked there. I have a video of that. Uh, and you know, this was a roller coaster of a round. I was coming off of just playing 18 holes the day prior at Corral de Tierra. And you know, the ball wasn't carrying that far. The swing wasn't that solid, but I ended up pulling off a decent round. So let's go out to the course and see how I did. All right, first hole of the day is a narrow par five and my drive goes into the woods onto the right. So uh, like I said, it's going to be an adventurous up and down roller coaster. So stick tight and enjoy the show. Next up, I just hit a four iron out of the, uh, I guess, this wooded chipped area uh, into the center of the fairway. And now I have a shot into the green and I actually put this one on in regulation. So even though I didn't hit a great drive, I was able to save it with my uh, approach into the green. Here's the putt. Didn't hit it all that hard. And yeah, not the greatest of reads. And then I have this one. And uh, yeah, unfortunately I missed that. So pick up a bogey on the first hole. First hole jitters out of the way. Next up, there's some deer crossing here. But I end up hitting an okay drive. Like I said earlier in the video, my ball wasn't carrying all that far. As you can see, and then since I hit into the rough, it had no rollout. So I'm using a longer four iron into the green, and I just missed this one out to the right. And I have this great neck shot onto the green. So as you can see, it's sitting down, downhill, and unfortunately I don't hit it hard enough, and I go into the trap. Almost just killed my playing partners by thinning it out of the bunker. Luckily it hit the lip, and it went onto the green onto the very far right. Um, kind of embarrassed because I don't know any of these people, but yeah, here's my putt. And yeah, as you can see, got some work to do here. But fortunately, was able to roll that in, so I saved a double bogey. Next up, yes, it's a less than 350 yards, so I took out driving iron, but it wasn't carrying on that far, and it was a little cold coming off the second day of playing 18 holes. So yeah, this next shot was pretty far into the green. So I took out my four iron again. So yeah, all these holes that I'm hitting four iron into the green, not the most ideal situation. So next up, I'm in the trap. Unfortunately, did not hit it good and it rolls back in. Have to wait for my playing partner to, to hit. Then I hit my next one on. So wish I would have done that on the first one. So not bad. So here comes the putt. And it's looking good. And I end up rolling it in. So still fine for bogeys here, guys. All right, first par three of the day. Uh, I end up flaring this one out a little bit to the right. And it's being a little bit short. Uh, luckily, it was a little downhill, so it wasn't that short. But I had a lot of green to work with for my chip, so I'm feeling OK. So here's my attempt. And I just want to get up and down here. And it's up rolling by quite a bit more than I anticipated. And this is how far I had to go. And unfortunately, my camera stopped recording here. Uh, but I missed that putt. And I ended up getting a bogey. Next up, another short par 4. So you see the driving iron coming out. Uh, this one, unfortunately, I flare out ever so slightly to the right. And then I'm in this weird lie for my next shot. Uh, this next shot, I end up tugging ever so slightly but I'm actually just barely off the green. So uh, luckily I went over this trap. Thank goodness I wasn't in another sand trap to hit out of. So here I am, here's my chip. Yeah, and unfortunately this chip is one of those that where you hit it and you're not much closer to the hole. And they're real, those are like almost the most frustrating chips. So here comes my putt. And yeah, I don't make it. So I don't successfully convert my up and down. And now I just hit a bogey for six over. Next up is a long par three. And as you know, four iron, I'm getting tired of hitting four iron to the green. So you can probably debate if I was playing the right tee box or not. I'm sure my playing partners were. So I hit my sand shot out and I just hit it towards the backside of the green. And here's my putt attempt to save my par. Yeah, it never stood a chance. So missed it low side and missed it long. Uh, yeah, didn't really give it a chance at all. So picked up another bogey for seven over. All right, next up is a little bit longer par four, but it's uphill all the way. And in this one, if you clear the traps that are in the center of the fairway, it opens up quite a bit. Uh, and here's my shot into the green. And this one actually hit a pretty good strike. 
and uh, yeah, I can put myself in position to try to get a birdie here. So as you can see, this putt coming up, this was just straight up a terrible read. I had no idea what I was doing, and I thought I was doing one thing, and it ends up doing another. Fortunately, I was able to clean it up and get my par. All right, next up is a decently long par five, and it's somewhat narrow. Uh, end up flaring this uh, ever so slightly to the right, but hey, I'm in the fairway, and I'm looking pretty good. Next up, I hit my fairway wood, and unfortunately end up flaring it to the right again, and this time I'm in a not so great lie in the wooded chipped area. So uh, yeah, I have this shot and look into the green. And what I didn't realize on this green, it's very big and it's two tiered, and the flag was in the second tier uh, off the back, and I'm on the first tier on the front. So I have this lengthy putt for my bird. So here's my attempt. And as you can see, we're dropping bombs here, guys. This was a massive birdie, and it could pick me up on the eighth hole. This next hole is relentless. It has a little bit of wind into it, and it's 450 yards, and it's a par four. So I hit a pretty good drive, and I'm thinking, okay, let's just try to get it up there. So next up, I hit a wood, and I end up flaring it to the right. But at this point, I'm probably playing it as a par five, a short par five. So hit it short and to the right end up chip beating on and I hit it like maybe a yard and a half too far so it rolls down this hill so I got a putt back over this hill and I end up you know not hitting the worst putt but for what it is I just didn't want to be short and putting downhill again so this one I ended up putting uphill and getting my bogey so seven over through nine so just like the first hole the tenth hole is a par five with woods on each side and just like the first hole I fill it out to the right and I'm in the woods again so Similar situation in the wooded stuff, and I end up just punching out and hitting a pretty good shot and setting up myself in position to get onto the green on my third shot. So I probably hit the best five wood of my life here, and uh, it goes straight to the green and it's traveling really well, and it ends up being pretty close to the hole for how far I was, so pretty stoked. So here's my birdie attempt. And check it out another birdie on a par five so six under through ten i'm feeling great next up another short par four 355 yards guess what the two irons coming out i end up hitting it pretty thin but hey if you hit this thing thin it actually goes pretty decent and it rolls out so i have this really easy shot into the green and unfortunately end up flaring it out to the right and i'm in a very very bad position in this sand trap on the right so check out my lie not good here's my attempt and yeah, I don't even get it out of the trap. So here we go again. This one's looking much, much better. But now I have a lot of work just to make my bogey. So here's the putt. And yeah, the putting is saving my butt today, along with a couple other lucky shots. Next up is probably the worst drive of the day, but actually the best luck of the day. So I hit the woods on the left. It actually ends up kicking back into the fairway. But my luck runs out here because I end up duffing this five wood only like 60 yards. And so I have another long one into the green. This next approach is a blind one into the green because it's so uphill. Uh, I'm just praying and hoping that I'm on the green. And then when I get up there, I do see that I am on the green, but I have this really tough uphill and then downhill putt. So my thinking here is just get it over the crest. Don't be short because you don't want another downhill putt. But unfortunately, didn't quite get past it. And here's my attempt to save bogey. And it doesn't work out. So I end up getting a double here. Next up is a decent sized par four. And I flare it out to the right again. And I'm in the I'm in the wilderness, guys. I'm going on an adventure, like I said. So here's my next shot. Check out the lie here. This one's going to be fun. So main objective here was just get enough club on it just to get it back into the fairway. Unfortunately, it just hits the bush right in front of me, and then it hits right down into the wooded area. So in this next shot, all I'm trying to do is get in front of the green so I can just chip it on and try to save a score. So that's what I end up doing, hitting a decent chip, making sure I'm not short to where it rolls back to my feet. And this is what I had to save my bogey, and unfortunately, I missed that, and I end up getting a double bogey. Next up is probably the best miss hit of my entire life on this par three. I end up hitting this shot pretty thin, uh, but when you hit it thin, sometimes it does get a little bit more spin than you anticipate. And check out my putt for birdie here. 
just a simple tap in and I couldn't believe it. So like I said, roller coaster round. Next up, 350 yard par four. Took driver on this time, ended up popping up to the right. And now, once again, I got a lot of practice hitting out of these wooded areas. And so this is no exception. So here's my approach into the green. End up tugging it to the left. And so I have a pretty difficult chip to get onto the green. So as you can see, here's my approach that's coming up. And hit it a little bit firm. And unfortunately, I'm not on the green. I tugged it a little bit to the left. And here, I actually admittedly missed hit this putt, and I thought it was going to be super short, but it was a really quick downhill putt. So I ended up being, you know, in really good position just to two putt that and save my bogey. If I would have made really good contact with that, it would have been way past the hole. Next up is a decent length par four. Uh, I got really lucky here and ended up being in between these two traps. Uh, in this next shot, I had a really uh, draw lie where the ball was above my feet. So, um, yeah, I played it out right, and I kind of played a hook into the green. and ended up being pretty close. So, as you can see on my putt here, it didn't have much, much to work with. But when I putt it, it went by way faster than I thought it was going to be. So, I didn't really take my time to line up this next putt. And unfortunately, I thought, you know, when it's a tap in, it's not and I end up missing this one. So yeah, not the greatest uh, bogey here, but uh, yeah, that's what I get for not taking my time. So next up, I hit a pretty good iron into this green, probably the best feeling iron of the day. Uh, it's kind of a shame that it happens so late in the round, but hey, I'll take it where I can get it. And this is what I have for my birdie attempt. And yeah, so end up burning it by, but uh, end up tapping in for my par. Last up is another par five. And this one's not too long and I hit a really good drive and uh, yeah the person that I was playing with convinced me to hit wood into this next shot so I was like why not let's do it so end up hitting a pretty solid wood uh, short of this trap here on the right and so I don't have much of a chip in terms of my next shot into the green so here's my chip end up hitting a pretty good one as you can see, uh, getting dialed in towards the end of the round, of course, now that my warm up is done through all 17 holes. And here's my putt, and I barely end up missing it. So, overall, though, I mean, what a crazy round, up and down with some birdies and some bogeys and doubles, 12 over. All right, as you can see, it was an up and down round. Uh, putting saved me a lot. Uh, I did have a few luck, more than a few lucky breaks there, but I did hit some really good shots as well. And mostly I was playing what my swing was giving me and just trying to play around that. Not trying to, you know, kind of like the Pebble Beach round, not playing outside, you know, my means of what the swing was giving me. So I really enjoyed that, you know. Uh, the game was looking pretty solid towards the end. Like I said, hold a, some putts out there to kind of preserve a good score. Um, but yeah, Bayonet Black Horse, those two courses are really good to test your game because it's you know difficult from all aspects you know off the tee uh, approach shots into the green then also the greens themselves are, are difficult to put on as well so hope you guys enjoyed that one more to come and i'll see you in the next one